Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back, it is good to be back. We got a good one for you today, the heavyweights, the big boys, Daniel Dubois, Philip Ergovich uh, on that 5 for 5 card, 5 versus 5, whatever they're they're dubbing it. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odd makers, they don't know what they're doing, I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also, our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All right. Daniel Dubois. 2019, this guy was my prospect of the year. I thought this guy was going to be the next great heavyweight. In the interim, it has not turned out that way. He's a little bit mechanical. He throws wide punches. We definitely overestimated his, his speed. You know, decent athleticism and movement. Moves a bit. Uses the ring to a degree. He's defensively flawed. He gets hit a ton. But he's physically strong. 6'6". Six, six, what is he like? 6'6", six, six, 240-ish generally what he weighs about. Stands in. He gets hit a lot. Seems to fatigue and he gets sloppy. He gets sloppy and he's easy to hit. And then he kind of becomes target practice as the fight wears on. I, I don't like this guy late. His shots are wide. He fatigues. To me, this is just a guy that is waiting to get knocked out. His his punches aren't, like I said, aren't super straight. And he does throw in decent volume. And he's got really good power. Really, really good power. He can end the fight at any point. But at this level, it's just not going to be enough. I don't think. And I'm not saying Dubois stinks. I I misread this coming up. He seemed to be destroying people prior to, uh, you know, we go back to Gorman. And then he uh, beat a couple other guys. Ebenezer Tete, the Japanese guy, uh, Ricardo Snyder. And then that led to Joe Joyce's fight, which I thought he was doing okay in. I had him up a point on my card. Or down a point. I had a one point fight. I had a little closer than two of the judges had it, but I thought it was very, very close at the time of the stoppage, and he quit in that fight. Now he came back, he picked up a couple of these at wins Trevor Bryan, Joe Kusuman, Kusumano, uh, Bogdan Danu, those type level fighters. And he was destroying them. He gets in with Usyk, and Usyk disposes of him. He comes back and he looks unimpressive against Gerald, Gerald Miller, Big Baby Miller, in you know a comeback fight. I don't really know what to make of him. I, I, there's certain things I like about him. I like his power. I guess he can move. He's a pretty decent athlete for his size. But there's so much I dislike about him, too. Ergovic, I think, is a more complete guy. He's straight up and down, but he's a fluid athlete. Pretty basic. You're not going to get a whole lot of extras. But good athlete, good movement, circles, uses the ring really well. Doesn't sit still too much, right? He's not an easy target just to hit, right? And that's that, that was the problem with Zhang. Zhang could just sit there and hit him. Like, he could with Joe Joyce. So, that's going to be an issue. He's pretty good from long range. He's got pretty accurate, pretty straight shots. I like him from the long range. I think from the long range, he can outbox Dubois. Good educated jab. Good volume. Good on the inside. Clean shots. Shorts. He shortens up on the inside. He's crisp, clean. I just think he's a more complete fighter. He can flurry a little bit. He, he throws some better combinations. Like I said, he's got good volume. Good combination puncher. Good accurate fighter from the outside. He can counter punch. He can lead. He can go first. I just think he's a pretty complete fighter. Not that he's a great heavyweight, but like a heavyweight with this size, he's like 6'6", 245. He's a little bit bigger. He's going to have, you know, in essence, they're the same size. Ergo would probably have a couple pounds on him. And that kind of athleticism, decent athleticism and decent skill carries a heavyweight with good power like like Argivich has to a high level. If you, you know, Argivich is, is what, 17-0, 14 knockouts. I think he gets. I think he gets it done here. Again, another difficult fight to to pick the winner on. But I gotta pick. 
I'm going to take Ergovitz. Let me pull up the odds here. Give me one second. There it is. Dubois. Argovitz is minus 210. They are killing me with these odds. They are really killing me with these odds. I like Argovitz on a money line. On an all bet. I don't know if he stops, but I kind of think this fight goes the distance. Although both guys can hit and both guys typically don't go the distance. So I'm not really sure. Um, they don't even have an over-under on this, which is which is interesting. Now you're asking just for the fight to end by KO. Let's just avoid that. Let's just take Ergovich on the money line. I'll bet makes you almost 50 bucks. So it's about minus two. It's two, minus 210. Ergovich. On the money line, I think he's more complete. I think he's a little smarter in the ring. Uh, his movement is better. He's a little little more difficult. I think he's just across the board just a little bit better than Dubois. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. That's the bet. Uh, normal one-times bet, Ergovich on the money line, $100 bet. In this case, we make you 4761. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Book YouTube actually for every major fight. Uh, oh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that banner below. Just $5 a month. Get you the lock of the week. Get the lock of the week. We hit it last week. We, we keep hitting it. Um, we also have the updates. that the, A lot of the props came out on the Wilder fight, on the uh, Ball and Ford fight. That if you want the props, if you want to know how to bet the props, go over to the Patreon, uh, join the Patreon. It's just five dollars a month. Uh, you'll, you'll make all that money back and some on week one. But let me know what you guys think. It's five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that banner below. From Texas, it's uh, May 29, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.